In this short video, we'll have a look at the latest version of Sitecore Connect for Salesforce Marketing Cloud version 6.0. We'll take a glance at how it works and what benefits it offers to marketing professionals that are running their campaigns on both platforms in a seamless way. Let's start with an overview of how the connector works. Now, Sitecore Connect for Salesforce Marketing Cloud version 6 is compatible with Sitecore Experience Platform 10.1 and above. The connector comes in four main parts. Uh, first one, Content Exchange, enables synchronizing content items from Sitecore Experience Platform to Salesforce Marketing Cloud. The second part of the connector is Behavioral Data Exchange, which enables synchronizing behavioral and contact data captured in, on the Sitecore website to Salesforce Marketing Cloud. The third part of the connector is the activity for marketing automation, which enables synchronizing contact details to Salesforce Marketing Cloud using marketing automation campaigns in Sitecore Experience Platform. And the fourth final part, which is the newest part introduced with version 6.0, is a Sitecore Connect for Salesforce Marketing Cloud activity for Sitecore Sync. This part enables synchronizing your contact journey and status information from Salesforce Marketing Cloud to Sitecore using a custom journey builder activity. Now let's define a few of those concepts. The content that we are referring to in the content exchange part of the connector refers to Sitecore content items. So content items that are stored in Sitecore Experience Platform Media Library. When we talk about behavioral data in the behavioral data exchange part of the connector, we're referring to Sitecore contact data, such as contacts and facets. Um, examples can be engagements that our customer had on the Sitecore website or their identified interests and other properties. And secondly, segmented lists, so static and dynamic lists from Sitecore List Manager. Activity for marketing automation refers to contact activity within the marketing automation campaign in Sitecore Experience Platform, such as, for example, a contact that enters a marketing automation plan by signing up to a form on our website. And a marketing automation action refers to an action within such a marketing automation plan. And finally, the journey builder from Salesforce Marketing Cloud and contact status refers to which journey builder plan a contact is currently on and in which status they are. Let's have a look at the enhancements introduced with Sitecore Connect for Salesforce Marketing Cloud version 6.0. In previous connector versions, Contacts and activity data only flowed one way from Sitecore Experience Platform to Salesforce Marketing Cloud. In this new version of the connector, we're allowing for two-way data integration between Salesforce Marketing Cloud and Sitecore. This enables customers' data from the Journey Builder plan and status in Salesforce Marketing Cloud to extend Sitecore site personalization. A couple of examples can be when our customer signs up on our newsletter form on our website, opens the email campaign that is sent, conversions on our e-commerce websites, or social shares, which subsequently trigger the journey builder activity status, which then informs content personalization on Sitecore sites. With this enhancement, Sitecore site experiences can become far more targeted and effective if they leverage data from marketing cloud automated journeys. This feature was made for campaign and demand generation marketers in mind. And the way to leverage it is by registering a custom journey builder activity component in platform tools under apps, under installed packages in Salesforce Marketing Cloud, and set up the Sitecore journey status sync activity in your journey builder plans. And for more information, please visit doc.sitecore.com under developers and IT guides to find more information on how to install and configure the connector in your instances.
The Sitecore Connect for Salesforce Marketing Cloud version 6.0 is available as of May 2021. A good way to understand the connector's functionality is to understand its information flow between Sitecore and Salesforce Marketing Cloud. So we'll have a look at how data and information flows between the two systems via the connector next. For sending content items from Sitecore to Salesforce Marketing Cloud, the connector pushes media library content items such as images and media to the content builder of Salesforce Marketing Cloud. When sending contact information from Sitecore to Salesforce Marketing Cloud, the connector takes XConnect contact data from Sitecore and then pushes it into the contact builder under data extensions and creates the contact data into a new custom data extension called XDB contacts. For sending marketing lists from Sitecore to Salesforce Marketing Cloud into Journey Builder, the connector takes segmented lists and contact membership data from XConnect in Sitecore XP and pushes them into the audience definition data extension under all marketing lists and audience membership data extension where it creates the mapping between contacts and marketing lists. Similar to the way marketing lists are sent from Sitecore to Salesforce Marketing Cloud Journey Builder, the same way this happens in Email Studio. XConnect marketing lists and contact membership data is sent to the custom audience definition data extension and the audience membership data extension where marketing lists are created and mapped between contacts and marketing lists. So then this contact data and marketing lists can be used when creating email campaigns in your Email Studio. When sending contact activity details from Sitecore Marketing Automation to Salesforce Marketing Cloud, the connector takes XConnect contact activity data and Marketing Automation Plan ID plus the Action ID and sends it over to the Contact Builder Data Extension, which was previously mentioned, XDB Contact Data Extension, where it also adds the contact activity data, marketing automation plan ID for the contact and the marketing automation action ID. So that Salesforce Marketing Cloud knows under which marketing automation plan ID and action ID our contacts in Sitecore have been going through. And it also sends the Journey Builder event ID into the Journey Builder of Salesforce Marketing Cloud. When sending contact journey builder and status information from Salesforce Marketing Cloud Journey Builder to Sitecore, the connector basically takes the journey ID, the journey builder plan ID from Marketing Cloud and the status in which the customer is in within the journey builder and sends it into Sitecore X Connect under the facet SFMC journey information where it stores the journey ID and the status of the customer contact. Next, we'll have a look at how data is mapped between the two systems in more detail. Out of the box, Salesforce Marketing Cloud doesn't have a contact entity and therefore it requires mapping with the Sitecore contact facets. As part of the Salesforce Marketing Cloud connector installation and configuration, the following data extensions are created and linked XDB contacts, where all contact information is stored. The audience definition, where all marketing lists are stored. And the audience membership data extension, where the mapping between marketing lists and contacts is contained. We can check out the custom data extensions being created by the connector if we go under Contact Builder, under Data Extensions and we find the XDB contact, audience membership, and audience definition custom data extensions. Sitecore creates a data extension called XDB contacts and pushes a predefined set of contact facets 
to this data extension for every contact that is synchronized. This following table lists all the out-of-the-box contact facets that are created with the data extension by the connector. Now this table can be extended if we decide to also synchronize other contact information. But with this list, we can have a look at the out-of-the-box configuration of that, of that data mapping. For the audience definition, the segment ID and segment name in the data extension correspond to the marketing list name and item ID in Sitecore. These can be found in the items table in the master database. For the audience membership, the mapping between contacts and lists are done by having a many-to-many -many relationship between segment ID and contact ID in this data extension. The membership data for each contact is available in the list subscriptions facet in Sitecore.